This segment brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Well, good morning. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And this is Around Kansas. And it's our last Wednesday of 2016, good Frank. Good grief, 2016 has just gone. Gone. I mean, throughout the year we were saying, can you believe how fast this is going? And now, it's done. here it is. It's, I, it, 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 and it, I still can't gone. believe it. Still I still can't believe it. Well, it's been a heck of a year, Frank. It has been a very interesting year. My year, I have to say, has been very good. I, I, I got a good man, and I got a, a <laughs> new grandbaby, and you know that's that's an awful lot of blessings in one yeah. year. And it you're really living is. out there on the high plains. Living out in the high plains of Kansas, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> just a stone throw from Colorado. <laughs> So Jake the other day said something. I said something about our being nuts, and he says, "Well, you know, we got to be a little nuts to be here." And I'm like, "What do you mean here? Here where?" He said, "Here with like eleven horses and fifteen sock monkeys." <laughs> sock monkeys. <laughs> Jake and his sock monkeys. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll ask you to explain that. <laughs> well, we've got them, and I had them displayed all around the Christmas tree. You know, I've got this, you know, all pretty, and so the little pairs of sock monkeys sitting all over the living room, you know, and you got little Christmas sock monkeys and all that. And the cats are just, like, enamored. They're just, like, cuddling up the sock monkeys. And <laughs> don't judge me, Frank. And they don't attack them? They no, just look at them? they love them. Probably they, freaked out by us. They, no, they're cuddling. They cuddle up to them. No, yeah, don't judge me, Frank. All right. So speaking of nutcases, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> nutcases, Boston, Corbett. Other than me, um, in the latest journal of the Kansas Bar Association, this is the November six, November, December issue, and my good, dear friend Meg Wickham. Who you know, Meg, who is uh, Susie Marchant's daughter, <laughs> and like that ain't claim to fame enough. Um, she is, uh, I don't know, she's some big deal over at the Kansas Bar Association. So, anyway, I have an article on crazy Boston Corbett, and I think we have a segment on Boston Corbett coming up sometime. We may have done one in the past, but it's always good to visit crazy Boston Corbett. <laughs> So we'll have another one coming up sometime. Yeah. In January, we'll mark um, uh, Charles Curtis's birthday. And so Corbett is always mentioned with uh, Charles Curtis. And, and read the article and you'll find out why. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll find the opportunity to talk about him again. And we've got another big thing coming up in January. You know, next year, can hardly wait for next year, the Museum of Also Rands. In, oh, yeah. In yeah. Norton. In Norton. Uh, yeah, so bless her heart, Hillary Clinton will join the, <laughs> the, yeah. uh, the, also rounds. the infamous photos in the Also Ran Gallery in Norton, Kansas, and they have a big um, ceremony, you know, and I don't know if Hillary's coming to that or not. Uh, we'll have to check. We will let you know that. We'll check on that and let you know. Yeah. LeCompton, the name was splashed across newspapers throughout America and Europe. It was debated in the halls of Congress. LeCompton interprets its unique territorial history with two museums and other sites. Events throughout the year celebrate history and community. Visit the Territorial Capital Museum where more than 70 trees are displayed with thousands of antique and vintage ornaments. And be sure to stop in the gift shops in both LeCompton museums. Spend the day in historic LeCompton shopping, eating, savoring the rich history.